Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. So I realized recently that it has been over a year since I did my declutter series and um, during that series I had mentioned that I wanted to revisit my collection and do a declutter on an annual basis. So the time has come for me to declutter again. Um, I'm going to start with foundations. I do just want to say really quickly, I understand some people don't really like these videos. I get that. I really do. The reason that I feel it's important for me to do these videos is because I do have a YouTube channel. Um, I review a lot of makeup. It's what I do. It's what I love to do. The majority of this is purchased by me. However, sometimes companies send things to me to review as well. And I do collect a lot of products. It's just part of, part of what I do here on my channel. So I do feel like it's important once a year to go through, see what I have, see what I'm using, see what I'm loving, you know, give away the things that I'm not using and get rid of the things that are expired. And I think that is something that sometimes we overlook. I really do think it's important to just keep an eye on the expiration dates of your makeup and make sure that you're using up the things that are close to expiring and you know, that kind of thing. Also, I just like to see what I have before I purchase anything else. So that's kind of, that's kind of why I do it. So I'm going to declutter my foundations today and, um, you know, throughout the next couple months I'll throw in some other declutter videos if you guys want to continue to see these, just let me know. I do just want to say really quick, don't worry, anything that I put in the giveaway pile will be given away to friends or family members. I have a pretty good list of people who are always like, hey, did you declutter lately? Because they are happy to take things off my hands that I'm not using. So don't worry about that. It's not it's not trashed, it's, you know, nothing like that. It's just, unless it's expired or there's something wrong with it. But um, yeah, no worries, it will be given away. So let's get started. Um, I've got everything here and also really quickly, please excuse my nails, they are horrendous right now. I had to take off my gels today because, well, they were just broken and grown out and I didn't have time this week to go get them filled. So my apologies. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm going to start with this guy right here. This is from Hourglass, and this is the Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. Um, I have the shade Nude. I loved this. I used the heck out of this last summer. It was the perfect match for me last summer. It's almost gone. The color is not quite right for me this summer, but as you can see, like I've used most of it up. There's only maybe one or two uses left, but also if you look up top here, it says the expiry is 06, 2016. So this actually expired last month. So I'm going to put this just in my empties. Like I said, there's only about one or two uses left anyway. So I'm gonna stick in this in my empties. I did really enjoy this. I would definitely repurchase it. It was a great um, foundation. I have dry skin in case you're wondering. It was like medium coverage. I won't get too into all these foundations, but I did really like this one. Okay, next up, I'm just going to kind of randomly grab these. This is the Guerlain Meteorites Baby Glow Foundation. I do have a whole review on this that I'll link below if you're interested. I like this. I love the foundation. I really despise the smell and I feel as the product gets a little bit older. I haven't had it for that many months, but just, you know, as it gets a little bit older, the smell gets more intense. <laughs> So I have been trying to use it up. Um, I've been wearing it in a lot of my recent videos. I really just want to work my way through it because it's a pricier item. Like I said, I like the way it looks, but I'm not a huge fan of the smell. If you're sensitive to smells, stay away from this, but I am going to keep this. Okay, next I've got this guy from CoverGirl. This is the Outlast Stay Luminous Natural Glow Foundation. I like it. I don't love it. I've got things that I reach for more often. Um, I don't know, I've had this in my stash for a while. I never reach for it, so this is gonna go in the giveaway pile. Same with this guy. This is the Maybelline Better Skin. Honestly, this color is a little bit off for me and I feel like it oxidizes a bit when I put it on, so I'm gonna give this away as well. It's just, it's not a great color for me, like I said, and I never reach for it. All right, so next up here, I've got the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus. Um, I just got this last month, I think, and I thought I ordered light, but it actually came in the shade medium. I have a bit of a tan this summer, so it's been working. I like it, you guys, but honestly, I don't love it as much as I thought I would. So many people love this, and it's, it's not like holy grail for me or anything. I do think it's nice, but it's not the best CC cream that I've tried. I'll definitely keep it. I think it's a great color match for me right now. It looks fine, but I don't know. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it's not as amazing as I thought it would be. But anyway, it does the job just fine. It's a great color match, so I'm keeping it. 
All right, next we've got the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I love this. I actually have it in a couple shades. The other shade that I wear a lot is on my makeup table. This is the color Nude, if you're wondering. Love this stuff. I've actually made a pretty good dent in it. Um, it's great. It's just a nice, you know, medium coverage, lightweight foundation that wears really well on my skin. Definitely keeping this. Okay, next up here we have the Rimmel 25 Hour Lasting Finish with Comfort Serum. If you've been with me for a while, you probably know this is one of my holy grail drugstore products. I absolutely love this stuff. It's so long wearing. It's full coverage, but it looks very natural. I love it. I'm definitely going to keep this one. However, I did also pick up this one, which is the 24 hour moisture hydration match perfection match perfection from Rimmel. I don't like this one as much as this one. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't. It just doesn't sit as nicely on my skin. It's not bad. I just like this one a lot better. So, oh my gosh, my nails, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm going to pass this one along. All right, next up we have the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Foundation. I love this stuff, which is crazy because I never thought I would like a matte foundation, but I do. I do have a whole review on this that I'll link below if you're interested, but if you're a dry skin girl who wants to find a hydrating matte, this is a great drugstore option and I'm definitely going to keep it. So next up I've got the Laura Mercier Silk Creme Foundation. It says Luminous Formula. I have had this for probably close to two years now. Um, when I saw Luminous I was like, yep, I'm all about a Luminous Foundation. When I went to Florida last, like a year ago last February, I wore this and I really liked it in Florida, but the temperature was different, the weather was different, my skin was different. When I came back home and started using this again, I don't like it. I don't know what it is, but it just, it's really hard for me to blend into the skin and it just, it doesn't look natural. So I am not keeping this. I actually think it might be expired. Oh, it's definitely expired. It says it's good for six months. Like I said, I've probably had this for two years, which is why it's good to go through your collection. Um, I actually don't think Laura Mercier makes this product anymore, so I think they reformulated it. But yeah, this was a no-go for me in my current climate. It's kind of funny how things can change so much, but anyway, yeah, not so much. All right, next I have the Lingerie de Peau from um, Guerlain. I love this. There's actually not a whole lot of this left. I know it looks kind of full, but it's not. I have been working my way through this. It's probably expired, you guys. I've had it for a while, but I'm still using it because I really like it. Um, I don't know how much is left, but I'm going to put it in the, like, make sure you use up quickly pile. Um, and you'll you'll see this in my empties really soon. All right, so next up, I've got this guy from Alme. This has not yet been opened. I picked this up a few weeks back. It was on sale. I thought it was new for some reason, but it turns out it's not. And I just, when I realized it wasn't new, it wasn't on my my radar to review quickly. I like to get newer product reviews out, you know, as quick as I can, but um, yeah, so I have not yet tried this, so it's still sealed. I'm going to put it in the try soon pile. Next up, this is a foundation from Cora's. I've had this for a while as well, but you'll see as with couple of the other ones I have. This is almost empty. There's really not much left. This was full at one point. My friend Kristen from the Kristen K channel gave this to me in a swap. I was really weary. I didn't think I would like a mineral foundation, but I loved this stuff. It was very natural, very pretty. So again, it's, I've only got a couple uses out of this, so I'm going to put it in the finished pile and you'll see it in an empties very soon. All right, next up I have this. This is the Paula's Choice Best Face Forward foundation for normal, oily, and combination skin. Um, this was sent to me by my friend Melanie from Mr. Kong's Mom. I like it because it has an SPF. I've worn it a few times, um, and I, I wear it, you know, just like around the pool or whatever when I need an SPF. Um, it isn't the best for dry skin, I will say, but it does have a nice natural coverage. It takes a little bit more to blend if you've got drier skin, but I do like it and I love that it has an SPF and not a lot of my foundations do right now. The it Cosmetics one does, but um, I'm going to keep it because it is kind of my go-to SPF. All right, next up uh, I have the Kevin Aquan uh, Sensual Skin Enhancer. 
I love this stuff. It's not an everyday reach for foundation. It, it can be used for a couple things. It's not just a foundation. It's a concealer. It's, you know, you can use it a bunch of different ways. I really like it, but like I said, it's not something I wear on a regular basis. It's something more for special events. It takes a little extra to blend it out, so I use it when I have a little more time, but I'm definitely hanging on to this. Okay, this is the Kogan Doe Aqua Foundation, and it's almost gone. I don't know if you can tell. There's like some empty spaces there. There's not much of this left at all, but um, I wore it the other day and I noticed that it was changing and I think that's because I've just had it for years. Um, it was in my last year's declutter as well and I have worn it since then, but it is it's expired. I'm sure it is. I can't find a date. I love when foundations put like an actual date like the hourglass one does. But anyway, um, I love this. I used most of it. But like I said, it's just it's a little bit watery now. It separates a bit. I know that it's I've had it for probably three years and it's just it's expired. So it's time to let this one go. Um, Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. Really love this. Again, one of my top five foundations. I've talked about it tons. Um, it's a semi-matte. It's, again, like, this is almost empty. A lot of these are almost empty, which is good to know so that I can use them up over the next few weeks and then you'll see them in empties. But this is a great one. I would definitely repurchase it. I, I love it. Next, I've got the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Tinted Moisturizer. Again, I have a review on this and also the mascara from this line that I'll link below. I like it. My only complaint is that I don't think it has an SPF. Um, I do wear it like just on days that I want a light, lighter product and it is sweat proof. I tested that out and it, that was the big claim that you can, you know, work out in this and it's fine. And it is. It's not my favorite. I love the Organics Wear CC Cream from Physicians Formula. That is amazing. Um, I've gone through a couple bottles of that, but this is nice. I am going to keep it. Uh, I just wish it had an SPF. Last but not least, I've got the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I'm in shade P20 if you're curious. These are just, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with these. They're just like a, a mixer, so you can enhance the coverage of any of your foundations. If you've got dry skin, you can mix this with a cream or an oil, which is what I like to do. Um, I like to mix it with a a moisturizer that has an SPF and then just add a little bit of a tint. It, they're great. I really like these, so I'm definitely going to hang on to them. All right, guys, so this is what I am clearing out, and I do just want to say, I know last year when I did this video, some, some of the comments were like, oh, you didn't get rid of enough stuff. Oh my gosh, and <laughs> that's really not the point. Like, I'm clearing out six foundations, and that's fine. The goal isn't to get rid of as much as I can. That's that's not the goal. The goal is to see what I have, what I need to use, you know, and clear out what I'm not using. So um, these three are giveaways. And then this one is going in an empties. These two are expired. Um, so they need to go. And then really quickly, these are the ones that I'm keeping. And these are the ones that I have that are so close to being done that they're going to just sit on my vanity right now so that I can work my way through them. I'd say each of them probably only have like maybe three or four uses in them. So um, those are almost gone. And again, that's just a good, a good reason to go through your collection and see what, you know, is almost empty. And then this is the rest of what I'm keeping. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more declutter videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.